Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and as you can see I am working on photos from Chihuly Garden and Glass which is in Seattle and I only have this right now but my hope is that if I can get this done quickly I can maybe do the layout that will be next to it and even possibly the one on the other side. We'll see. We'll see how quickly it goes. But for now I'm going to start with this one and I have to figure out what am I doing in the middle here. This is not a page protector style that I've used a lot. It's fairly new for me and it seems obvious like oh you could put sequins in there but with what's on the other side like that doesn't really work. And I want to challenge myself to do something other than sequins with it because there has to be you know other things that I can do. Clearly I could kind of make like a mini journaling card of some type and have journaling there, have some kind of embellishments there or something. But right now I'm I'm kind of stumped. I'm just not sure what I want to do with it. It's going to have to match with these. So obviously I'm looking at blue, white, black, maybe gray. So I can't go too crazy in terms of color, but we'll see what happens. So to start with, I'm just looking at paper. And these are backgrounds. These are not things I would journal on. I've grabbed out my pack of blue scraps here in case I see something in there I like. And then I've grabbed out my three by four journaling cards and they go by color in order. So I will look at the blue ones that I have in there. I'm also willing to consider a four by six because I have quite a few four by six horizontal cards that are either backgrounds like this or maybe they say like one little phrase on them. And I just don't use them. They're really hard for me to use. I tend to use three by four so much more than a four by six. And I'm willing to cut into some of those if I have to. If it gets me what I want, fine. But I'm going to start here and just see, is there anything in these two options that might work? So I have two things that I found. Uh, one was in my blue scraps. The other one was in the three by four cards. So this is the scrap that I have. It is already cut to two inches widthwise. So that's awesome because then I don't have to figure that out because this is two by four. And then all I would have to do is cut it here. And I like it that it's got a pattern, but it's not like crazy. It's not a crazy pattern. And I like that it's kind of both tones of blue, the darker and the lighter. Now, of course, I'd have to do something with it, put something on it. I'm not exactly sure what that would be. I do have some black, white, gray ephemera pieces. You know, I have this. Let me grab it here. I have this whole bag, so maybe there's something in there where I could layer it and make it work. But I also like this one. And I like it, I think, because it's more the lighter tones here as opposed to this. And I kind of dig this stripe. I like it. But again, I can't journal then. I've got to fill it with embellishment type stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my four by six cars and just see like, is there anything in there I could cut down? Because these are a good start, but I definitely have to do some layering and all of that. And I realized that on these next two layouts, if I get to them, there's no room for journaling here. So I feel like I might need to journal here because it's the first one. It's the opener, you know, tell why we went or whatever, but I'm kind of torn. So we'll just see what I find, I guess. Okay, I found one four by six card that I think might work if I want to do the journaling option. I have this one and it would mean I'd have to cut off all of the bottom, which is okay. I mean, the colors don't really match anyway, so that's fine. But up here, this is a little bit brighter blue than this. But if I cut it, I've got kind of a mini title there since that's already there. And then I would just have the blue and white and room to journal. Journaling will be done in black, so it'll all match eventually. But I'm not sure how I feel about this blue. Kind of want it, but I'm not sure. What's the best option? When I look at these, I like them all. That's the problem. And I hesitate to cut this down just to see how it would actually look because then I lose the whole card. I can't put it back together once I cut it. So it's definitely, it's definitely a dilemma. So I decided to look ahead through all my Chihuly layouts that I plan to do for this album. And I do have some space later where I could journal. So I think I'm not going to use this one. I thought it was a contender, but not really. 
And in looking at these, I think I'm going to go with this one. I just, I like the color the best. I like that it's kind of got a stripe there at a nice angle and I can layer. So I think these are both great options, but I'm not going to use them. I think this is the winner. And then I'm going to start looking through here to see what can I build on this that might look good. Well, I realized I hadn't cut this down yet, so <laughs> I need to do that. It's obviously four inches this way already, so that's fine. So I just have to cut this down to two, which is fairly easy. So just get it placed where I want there. It doesn't want to line up perfectly for me. There we go. All right, so now I have the right size piece that I need that can sit right in there. And then all I have to do is just start going through all this stuff and build something. Okay, I know that this may seem kind of plain by itself, but I like it and it's true. This is probably my favorite place in Seattle because I'm such a fan of Chihuly. Every time I've gone to Seattle, I've gone there. <laughs> the first time was by myself. The second time was with a friend from Colorado. And now this last time was with my daughter. So I feel like anytime I'm in Seattle, I'm going to end up there just because I love it so much. So it is appropriate. So I think I'm going to use that. And maybe that's all I need for this page. I could maybe do like a little heart off center or something, maybe in gray or a another shade of blue that kind of matches. I'm not sure, but I do want this, even though it's very simple. I have these puffy hearts from Freckle Fawn, and I think maybe I'm just going to do one of the lighter gray ones and see what I think here, because I do have kind of some lighter gray happening there. So actually, maybe if that's on the left side, I should put this on the right side. Ah, I want it to overlap a little bit. So I have to get the right angle here. Maybe move it up a little bit. How about that? Let's see. I don't know how well these stick. Well, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, so that's this one done. I can put it on the page protector. And I think I am going to do the next two because really all I'm probably gonna need is like just some little phrases or a label and I can write a quick sentiment on it or something. But I do think that I can do something with both of these. Okay, for this one, I think that if I do anything, it has to be up here. I have more dead space to work with there than I do here. This takes up pretty much the whole frame, you know, of the photo. So I think it's going to be this one. And then I'm wondering about maybe pulling in some green because these pieces have some green there. So I have pulled out my green pieces of ephemera in the hopes that there's something in there that's the right size and the right color. For this one, I have decided to keep it very simple. Of all the stuff that I pulled out and looked at, this is the one I actually like the best. And I may just write like amazing or wonderful, or I could write the date or something, but I think I'm just going to use that and then hang it off the top. So it's, it's not rocket science, but it works. Actually, I can attach it right now. I'm gonna use some adhesive, but I am gonna put a staple in there as well. go and grab my mini stapler here put that in there we go and then I will figure out what I want to put in there I think I need to look back at my last couple layouts and see like do any of them have the date on it I'm not even sure if not then I would probably just do that if I do have the date elsewhere on the same day then I can just pick a word all right, so I did have the date on one layout, but there have been quite a few in between. So I think I am just going to include that here. So, and it was February 2nd, so it's 2-2-24. And kind of nice that that's all I have to do with that one. So for this side then, I think I want something down here because that is the biggest space I have where there's not as much happening. This is quite busy, so I don't wanna add anything to that. So it will be down this left-hand corner. I'm thinking maybe yellow. Yellow or yellowy orange because I've got some peeking through there. 
but there are a lot of other colors represented. Like there's a lot of red and blue, so I don't want that. But I think I'm gonna clean up my other mess here from my green and my black stuff, and then I'll pull out those colors. I found these three things. These two came out of my bag of ephemera. This one actually came out of my yellow phrases that I have here. I think I like this one the best. These are a little too yellowy gold, kind of. I want something brighter, I think. And I think I'm going to place it kind of about here. And then because it says loving the view, I might layer it with a little heart again. Maybe in white just to bring in some of that. So I need to pull out more puffy stickers. I think I might even have some white chipboard hearts. I'm not positive, but I'm going to pull out all that stuff and then I'll see which one I like the best. I did adhere this and I decided to go all the way to the edge. I wasn't sure that I wanted to do that. Originally I thought I would have it flush to where the color stops, but now I've decided I like it better on the white border. So I have that. And then I have these puffy sticker hearts from Freckled Vaughn. And I think I'm going to use this smaller size here. I don't want to go too big because the photo is only a four by four. It's not huge. So if I have it there, usually like to float more towards the edge, but I could do it there. I'm not going to press down. Does that look weird? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it floating out there. Hmm. I can't overlap it really with the white border. I'll just have to do it like that. I'm not in love with the way that looks, but I'm not sure how else I can place it on there. Put in my staple. You know what? The only other thing I can think of is I do have some narrow washi in different colors. I wonder if I could bring out one of the other colors in here. Like I do actually have a lighter blue. Ooh, let's pick this up here. Take that off. Glad I didn't press that down. I'm going to go grab that and put this back on the sheet for now and kind of just hold it there until I'm ready. Okay, so that's how it would look with this lighter blue on it, and I do think I like that. Then I can take the sticker that I had and kind of do this. Yes, I like that better. Okay, so we're going to tear this off here. Just do that, stick it across the back, and yeah, I like that much better. With just the yellow, it was kind of too plain, and the heart didn't look right. So let's put it in the page protector, make sure I love it. Yeah, I do. Okay, so yay, I ended up getting three done. One, two, three. So there are more layouts finished for Seattle. Thanks for watching.